Welcome back everybody. Are we ready to do our time of jigsaws? Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, if you go over. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is, I'm sure you have jigsaws at home, have you? Okay, that's brilliant. So sometimes, you know our preschool rangers who are helping us out every day. I hear you're doing great work, preschool rangers. Good job, I'm so proud of you. Okay, so the preschool rangers might need to find some jigsaws, but also I'm gonna show you in a minute how to make some. So we have a jigsaw here, so let's see, can we make this jigsaw? I'm not so good at this, so you're going to have to help me. Is that okay? So this is our first piece of jigsaw. Okay, let me come over to this. Do you know where another piece that matches here. Now, a trick for doing jigsaws is you match the circle to the hole. So we're gonna try and see, does this circle go into this hole? Does it? I don't think so. Can you tell me which one goes in? Which one do you think goes in? This one you said, well done. So our circle goes into our hole. Well done. Can you tell me which is the next piece that goes in? Is it this piece, this piece, this piece, or this piece? Which do you think? You want me to check this piece? Okay, the circle, uh-oh, I don't think so. What about this one? Is that the right one? I can hear you, well done, that's a great job. Now we're going to get this piece and we're going to find a circle to go into this hole. There's two circles, nope. There's two holes, so they're not matching. There is the circle going into the hole. Now we have another hole here that we have to try and find to fill in. Is it this piece or this piece, do you think? Which one do you think? Do you think it is this one? Well done! And our last piece, very good! Great job, guys. Now, can you tell me what this is? What is it, sorry? What is it? A lion, well done. And do you know what these are? These are baby lions, which are called cubs. Good job, well done. Now. This is how I'm gonna show you how to make a jigsaw. You can get your page and you can draw any picture you want. So maybe we might draw a lion, okay? Okay, and then we're gonna give him a big body and his legs, okay? And then we're going to give him a tail. And will we color him in? I think so. What color will we pick? You tell me which color do you think? Which color? Pink? No problem. So we'll give him a pink body or her a pink body, whichever you want it to be. Maybe you might give your lion a name and then we're going to put some maybe blue here. It doesn't matter what color the line is, you choose. You can have your line whatever color you want. You can have it whatever name you want, whatever color you want. It's your lion. Now then you get your scissors and you just chop it, okay? Okay? So we're gonna chop, chop, chop. Be very careful when you're working with the scissors. Remember, we don't want anybody caught in their hands. So now we're gonna mix all our pieces up. And here is our jigsaw. Now your job 
is to see which piece goes where and to match it all together. Are you ready? Are we going to do this? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Well done. I am so proud of you. So let's try. So we're going to make his face. So there's one part of his face. And maybe, do you think this might be the end piece down here? Maybe. And we need another piece for his face. Can you find one for me? We're going to put the scissors over here out of the way so it's nice and safe. What else? This is going here. Well done. What do you think this part is? I think maybe this is part of his tummy. Oh, oh, no, that's not the right piece. Is this piece? Yes. And then does this piece go here? And then what's next? This piece? Does this go? No, it still doesn't go in there. Will we try this piece? And then will we give this piece here? Yes, with the tail. And then this is the top part of the tail. And he's missing a little piece of his face. Look, we made it, our own jigsaw. Well done, you. I'm very proud. So this is one line and this is two lines. Now, before you go, I have a little bit of work for you to do for me, okay? So today, for during the day, I want you to do some drawing and I also want you to do some little searching. You're going to be number and shape detectives today. Have you, you've never been a shape detective? Well, I'm going to tell you all about it. What is a shape detective? Okay, who knows what this is? I can't hear you. Yes, it's a star. Now, a shape detective turns over and tells me how many stars are on the back of the card. How many? One, two, three, four. Great job, well done. Now your job today is to look all around your house and tell me what star shapes you find. Do you think you'll be able to do that? What's that? I didn't hear you. You will, well done. And for the people who've got preschool rangers, you have a bit of a job today, guys. I hope that's okay. Let's do another example. Okay, who knows what this is? A train, well done. Now, look at this side. Can you show me which are the smaller wheels? Which ones? You're telling me, is it this train is the smaller wheels? Or is it this one? You're right, it's this train, but there is a small wheel down here. Now, do you know what your job today is? What shape is a wheel? Sorry? It is a circle, well done. So your job at home today is to search for some circle shapes. Is that okay? Now I want you to search for small circles and big circles. Can you do that? Inside and outside. So when you're going out for your walk, will you search for them too? Well done. Another thing you might try and find out for me, who knows what this is? What is it? Kitten, well done. Now, can you tell me, the, the mom of the kitten is called the cat. Now, can you tell me what these animals are? And when you tell me what they are, do you know what the babies of these animals are? 
you're not sure, that's okay. Because today, that's a bit of homework you have to do. You have to find out what these animals are and what the babies are called. I'll ask you tomorrow, you know. Good job. Those preschool rangers will help as well. Then you have a little bit. What's this picture? An apple, well done. Now, do you know what you have to do with this one? You have to count how many apples are on the trees. Okay, once again, you take your time doing that. You can do that today some stage, okay? Now, when you're doing your counting of the apples and that's done, then I want you to go around the house and I want you to count different things. How many chairs are in your house? How many cups are in your house? How many small spoons are in your house? And how many daffodils can you count when you are out on your walk? And the last one, how many steps with your little foot does it take to go from your bedroom down to the front door? Okay, so do you remember all of them? You have to count the chairs in your house, the cups in your house, the small spoons in your house. You have to go on your walk and you have to count how many daffodils you can find. And the last thing is when you're going to bed tonight, you have to count how many steps with your foot 